Boom! All right, we're live. It is uh, January 11th. It is Thursday. There are, um, there's actually a shit ton of leads today, so that's good. There are um, 22 leads to dial. <clears throat> there's a big chunk of, uh, of for sale by owners to hit, so this should be good. Um, all right, so we got the Vulcan 7 data. We got the Mojo dialer, uh, triple line dialer ready to go. <clears throat> I got a pad to write on, a pen, ready to hit this thing. And, uh, and <laughs> one of the things about working from home, um, I've also got shorts on, um, which is good for me. Didn't want to lose half the audience. Uh, as I, the first go at this, I was wearing boxer shorts, which probably will disgust everyone out there. So nonetheless, here we go. Uh, all right, so. Mojo Dialer, we've got ooh, eight of these are going to be filtered out because they don't meet my uh, price point, but that's okay. So I got, I got the phone, I got the Vulcan, I got the Mojo, I got pants. So it's get some Thursday, get some. Here we go. Pro tip, wear pants. <clears throat> And even better news, my kids are uh, in Disney World, so there's going to be quiet this morning. Ooh, and I just dialed the wrong number. 610-603-610-8476. All right, we're doing big things. Get some Thursday. Also, we got the standing desk, so <clears throat> if you can. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Dude, my house is not for sale. Oh Why my. are you bothering me? I, uh, oh, oh, I, I apologize. Put your guns back in your holster. Let me ask you this. Do you know anybody looking to buy or sell real estate that I might be able to help? Sometimes the numbers are good, sometimes the numbers are not good, but we're going to dial them all. What's up, Dom? <coughs> we got 22, scratch that. It's forwarded to an automatic voice message system. We're leaving voicemails. Five, six, one, six, two, nine, seven, one, three, zero. It's not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious how on earth the property did not sell. If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. All right, so we're doing big things. We're hitting today's uh, expireds, fizzbos, canceled. And if you or anybody you know is looking to buy or sell real estate in South Florida, I'm your guy. <clears throat> so there are 22 leads to call and it's been filtered to 14 and we've dialed two of them. So just making our way through the list. It should get good at the end because I think like seven of those are for sale by owners, which uh, are usually usually a lot more receptive. So let's see. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious 
how on earth did the property not sell? Oh, uh, I had a renter in there, and um, it was different. She was making it difficult to show it. Oh, so no. she's moved out. Okay. Are you uh, are you still interested in selling the property? It's still up for sale. I think there's um, the real estate number, real estate numbers on there. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but it actually came up as a uh, as an expired listing in the MLS as of last night, and, and that's why I'm calling you. So um, let me ask you this. Uh, it, 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 yeah, so um, while I have you on the phone, I am curious, and I, I know you mentioned there was a problem with the renter uh, or the tenant. Was um, It was on the market, it looks here, for like about 163 days. Did you have any offers on the property? about it. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm walking out the door. She'll be happy to help you with any of your questions. Yeah, well, I'm just, I'm curious because, um, and I, I get you're in a hurry, me too. Um, we specialize in selling properties just like this, and, and just so you know. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to change realtors if that's what you're trying to get at. I'm not. No, I, 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 thank you for your absolutely. Hey, just, just real quick because. She'll be happy to help you with any questions. That's why she's the real estate agent. So yeah. She, Okay. Hey, look, I appreciate your time. Would, would it offend you if I texted you my contact information? <laughs> okay. Well, that's some good loyalty. You got to appreciate that. I'm going to text her anyway, but <clears throat> it never hurts to have a second opinion. Good morning. Please leave name and number. You've reached 495-5495. We're not here. Thank you. Good morning. This is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561 516 2442. Again, 561 516 2442. Thank you. All right, making our way through the list. <clears throat> ten more, four down, ten to go. shit done. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious how on earth the property did not sell. If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Nine more. Should get interesting here soon because I think they start to be uh, for sale by owners. Hey Monica, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I'm curious.
how on earth the property did not sell. If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. What do you think your conversion rate is on the calls? Conversion rate meaning how many people do I talk to per, to get an appointment? Or what, what are you asking me? Because one of, one of the holes in my business that's been identified is... Hey, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Oh, good talk. <clears throat> uh, where do we go? So, yeah, uh, th one of the things that... Um, that I really need to do a, a better job with and I'm, I'm committed to doing uh, this year and uh, it's tracking my numbers a little bit, but not a little bit better, a, a hell of a lot better. Thanks, Jeff. Leave a message if you like, otherwise you can try my cell. Thanks. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished recording, press pound. To cancel, press star. Hey, Jeff, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious. How on earth the property did not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. I'm looking for a new listing. Am I getting appointments? Yeah. I'm This is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious how on earth the property did not sell. If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. Um, am I getting appointments? Yeah, I man, I'm, I'm setting an appointment basically every uh, every day, <laughs> um, and and all of the um, all of the appointments that I've set have been live in this room, uh, which I started about two months ago. So, oh. hey, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. My records indicate that your property is for sale by owner. Is that true? Oh, per perfect. Well, but, but that is outstanding. Put your guns back in your holster. I'm not going to ask you to list the property at all whatsoever. Um, but I am curious. Okay. I am curious about a couple things on the property. Um, and I'm, I'm looking online. I, I actually see two different sets of information, one on Zillow, one on Trulia. They're not consistent. So I'm asking questions that might seem obvious, but they're not obvious to me. <clears throat> Um, and just, now, just I put it on. I put it on there, and it, it didn't have an address before for that lot. Yeah. For some reason, it sucked over to the house next door, and um, so so the one that's correct is the yellow house that you'll see in the pictures on uh, Zillow. Okay. Perfect. And, and uh, it it'll probably be done in the next two weeks, but I, I put it on there February for a closing date because I still have to get the septic tank approved by the. Sometimes they take forever to get out there to help the health department and all that good stuff. So. 
But yeah, it's a uh, ready to go. The pictures you see are, are the that, that's it. Okay. Oh, Zillow. The truly, I haven't looked at. All right. So let me ask you this: What is the? What have you listed the property at? What are you asking for? What if you saw it on Zillow? It should say right. I got a three sixty five and I got a three ninety nine. That's why I'm asking. Came from. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing, and it's it's a little. So for whatever reason, and these companies should get it right. They don't. That's one of the problems with using them. Um, and they're owned by the same yeah. company. It, that's the weird thing. Both Truly and yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I never touched Truly, but they said it would go there too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, and it, it's okay. So just it's three ninety nine. How many bedrooms? How many baths? It's three two. Yeah. With a formal living den area. Uh, 20 inch porcelain tile everywhere except for bedrooms and everything else is laminate it's got 10 12 11 and 12 foot ceilings in there coffers in the formal i love and it the dining it's got uh, 42 inch cabinets it's got the slow closed drawers the all wood cabinets granite everywhere some of the windowsills are granite the rest of them are corian it's got a 40 foot uh, patio out back for uh, you know you put out like kitchen or whatever you want to do there nice it's got uh, 100 and like 40 loads of dirt, so it's high and dry. It was high and dry anyway, but because of the county and the septic tanks, it had to be that high. Sure. Um, it's get, getting concrete driveway poured. It's uh, all upgraded, ready to go. Okay, how old's the roof, just out of curiosity? Uh, well, it probably was put in on September. Oh wow! You, so you've done everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is a, this is ready to go. All right. I, I built it from the ground up. Okay, fantastic. Let me ask you this: Are you trying to sell the house by not having it on the market with a real estate professional? Is it because you hate realtors? No, nope, not at all. Not at all. I used a realtor for for one of the first ones about maybe sold it last like July. But awesome. That's eighteen thousand dollars that went went away that that I'm going to try to recoup this time. Okay, great. Well, and look. Again, I sold my house. In, I sold. I sold another house in Port St. Lucie going the same exact way. Mm -hmm. And the market's kind of hot right now, and there's not many new houses out there in the acreage. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to give it a shot and and just keep my name on tap and give me a call back in 30 days. By then, I might be tired of dealing with it. I, I love it. Let me ask you this, and I'll, I'll cut right to the chase here. If you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One is that the home would sell, and two, you'd end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could any other way, with or without an agent. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Yeah, sure, but uh, right now, I'm at work, so i got to keep moving here. Sure. But, um, Very quickly in closing, I'll get, you, I'll get you right off the phone. Here's what I want to do if it meets with your approval. Just so you know, I'm with Remax Direct. We've got six offices throughout Palm Beach County. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. I sell properties just like yours all day long and net you more. What I'd like to do is email you a pricing analysis so I'm fluent in the pricing and we're both speaking the same language. What's your best email address? My company name, Marquee Homes, M-A-R-Q-U-I-S-E Homes at Comcast.net. Mm -hmm. and you know Tim Lyon Decker he's been my realtor for about 20 years he's Remax Prestige right there in a row phone okay yep I know him and, and, and so let me ask you this is it possible to lay eyes on the property and uh, do a little bit of uh, marketing on your behalf and you know I've got time on, on Friday okay. yeah I, you there I, I gotta get going uh, no don't worry about coming over like I said give me my 30 days and when I'm done with my aggravation well, here's why I asked that. Here's how I create a win-win with for sale by owner listings, just like yours. I like to do mega open houses, with, which we advertise aggressively. We drive many, many buyers to them. The buyers that attend that are interested in your property are your buyers, 100%. I don't want them. The ones that aren't interested in your property and might want something else, those I would want. So it creates a win-win. I'm able to go out there and market your property aggressively. Your buyers are your buyers. Is it possible to do that? You with me? Oh, he hung up. He hung up, but we're calling him back.
Thank you. You have reached Bill Emery. Please leave a name and number at the tone, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Bill, it's Chris Igo again with Remax. Um, you slammed me. That's okay. Listen, I, um, I help for sale by owners just like you, uh, and I create win-wins for both of us by hosting mega open houses on your behalf. Um, I'm not sure where you clicked me, but what I do is I drive traffic to your listing. Your buyers that come in there that are interested in your property are your buyers. The ones that aren't interested in your property, well, those I would want as my uh, as my. Uh, prospects to work with. So I want to create a win-win. I do want to talk to you further. If you would, when you have time, give me a call back. 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Have a great day. <clears throat> and then I will door knock the shit out of that neighborhood. Um, all right, so we've got two more to call. What's going on? All right, so. Two more to dial, and they're both for sale by owners, which is good. Uh, Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. My records indicate your property is for sale by owner. Is that true? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm I'm giving you a call. My records indicate that your property is for sale by owner. Is that true? Yes. Awesome. Okay, great. How much are you asking for the property? Four eighty nine. Four eighty nine. I love it. Okay. How many bedrooms? How many baths? Six two. Okay, that's great. Um, have you done any upgrades or improvements to the property? Not really. Not recently. No. Okay. Um, how old is the roof? Out of curiosity. Uh, less than ten years old. Less than ten. Okay, I love it. And what's the uh, what's the backyard like over there? Sure. Hello? Yep. It's me. Yes, hello? Yep, I'm here. We good? Oh, okay, what, 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 what did you need to know? So, I was just curious about the, uh, the backyard there. What's that like? Are, are you in the property? Do you live there? No, I don't live there, no. Okay. Well, let me ask you something. Are you trying to sell the property by not having it on the market with a real estate professional? Is it because you hate realtors? No. Is it about the money? I just feel like I can sell it on my own. I'll be honest with you. You might be able to. We uh, we actually are in a pretty low inventory environment right now, as you know, and there aren't a lot of properties like this. So it is altogether possible you might sell it yourself, and, and I actually hope you do. Um, just just so you know, um, my name is Chris Igo. I'm with Remax Direct. 
Um, we've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Let me ask you this. If you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One is the property would sell. And two, you would end up with significantly more money bottom line than you could any other way with or without an agent. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Okay, great. Here's what I'd like to do if it meets with your approval. I'd like to run an analysis on the property as it relates to price. So I get fluent on the pricing in the area and we're both on the same page. What's your best email address? My what email address? Yes, please. Okay, V, as in Victor, B-A-G-A-S, 2-1. AOL.com. Awesome. I got it. Okay. And the number that I called you on, is it your cell phone number? Yes. Okay. So what, what I'll do when we get off the phone is I will text you my contact information so that you have it. Additionally, I'm going to run an analysis on the property. I'm going to email that to you. Here's what I'd like to do if it meets with your approval. I'd like 15 minutes of your time. I'd like to lay eyes on the property so I get a real good feel for what it is that we actually have here. Is it possible to meet with you? I've got time this evening. I've got time tomorrow afternoon and evening. Which is best for you? Well, let me ask you again. Now, where's your office located at? We've got six of them throughout South Florida. Where's your central located at, though? My closest well, where's, where's so, where's so you're, you're you're in Pompano Beach, right? Or this property is in Pompano Beach, right? So we're right there on the border of Boca and Deerfield Beach. We've got an office. We've got one right there in Fort Lauderdale, one right there in Pompano Beach. I'm actually calling you right now from my home office, which is, uh, and when I say my home office, I'm talking about I live in Canyon Trails out in Boynton Beach. But we've got a full service, full time real estate team that works together to get your property sold. And candidly, I can net you more than any other any other method of selling faster with less stress to you. That's what I specialize in. So, what? okay, well, okay, Chris is your name, right? That's my name, yeah. Chris. Yes. Okay. Do the do the do, do the market analysis and 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 let me look at that and then I'll determine whether I want to proceed further. Okay. Well, would it would it meet with your approval? And the only reason I I ask this is I, we do a high volume business here. We're very efficient. I book very quickly. So what I'd like to do is just pencil in the time on my own calendar so that I know that I have it. If at any point you don't want to proceed, that's fine. You know, there's no obligation or no hassle. I just want to know that I've got visibility in my own schedule so that I can meet with you. Um, would Again, would, and it's only 15 minutes. One thing I can promise you, I will not waste your time. Um, do you have availability this evening or is tomorrow better for you? No, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I don't really want to meet with anybody. I can, I can call any real estate agent and get a market analysis. You know, um, you're calling me, so I'm just asking. I don't need to meet with anybody. You know, you, you know, you know how to, the system runs. Just do a market analysis, see if you can come anywhere close to my numbers, and then if not, there's no reason to proceed or do anything. Sure. Well, no, I mean, if... Listen, the numbers have to make I sense. Want, I don't want to waste your time, and I don't, I don't want to waste my time. Just do a market analysis and get back with me and do okay. an email and let me know. And then sure, I'm okay. So what I'm asking or anything. Perfect. So what, what I'll do, and let me ask you this. What do you owe on the property so I can put together a net sheet? Which would show you what... No, you, I don't owe anything on the property. Okay, so you own, you're free and clear. You own nothing, and everything is, is net profit to you. Perfect. Okay. So what I'll do, <clears throat> um, I'm going to run an analysis, I'll email it to you, I'll text you my contact information, and then uh, once I send it, uh, I'll shoot you a text to let you know to look out for it, and then uh, I'll follow up, okay, and we can determine if we want to move forward. Perfect. Now, now I've got one question, No, hey, that's no problem, i got a question for you. If you were going to win a million dollars by guessing this correctly, what price realistically do you think a buyer would pay for your house? Like 440 okay all right well let me do this let me put together the analysis okay 
I'll email it to you, I'll follow up. And, and let me ask you this, if, if I can demonstrate to you without a shadow of a doubt how I can net you more money and do it faster with less stress than you ever thought possible, is there any reason that you would not be able to list with me? If, if I could demonstrate beyond any shadow of a doubt, if there was no question in your mind that I could net you more faster than any other, with less stress than any other method possible, would, would there be any reason that you could not list with me? Be honest. No, not at all. Okay, super. No, not at all. all right, hey, I, I appreciate your honesty and your candor. Let me ask you this. When I do sell the property and net you more money than you ever thought possible, Will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job I did? Of course, you better believe it. Awesome. Okay, I appreciate your time. Be on the lookout for my uh, information. I'll, I'll let you know when I send it, and uh, I hope to get together with you real soon, okay? Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you're, you very you're, much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. So... <clears throat> Just for the record, he believes that a buyer would pay 440 and yet he's listed at 490. All righty then. So let's print this. But this is a good Uh-oh. My MacBook is about to go to sleep on me. That's not good. Uh, let's plug this puppy in. Okay. Not gonna go too far without the um, without the computer. All right. So we're printing this. So I'll print this, do the analysis, email to them, follow up, and hopefully set the appointment for later, which of course I will uh, do live. All right, that's printing. Uh, oh, that was it, all right, <clears throat> so. All right, so uh, what was that? 14 leads to call, um, no appointments. Um, I think there were two leads out of it, and um, uh, I will follow up with that guy, and I'm, I suspect convert him into a, uh, an appointment later. But, but that's it, so uh, make the dials, get some.